Hey guys, this is Mr. Ahmed. I'm taking a look today at uh, the 585A2 economics pre-release. Uh, what I've done is I've converted the PDF file into Word document so I can edit it. Uh, main reason being for that is I want to annotate it so I can really get everybody the material they need, seeing as how uh, I've had the sporadic attendance the last two weeks. I don't want anyone to miss out on some important information. So I'm going to go through the June 2012 F585 extract, uh, paragraph by paragraph of the introduction. Uh, I'll probably break this video up into uh, separate, uh, separate extracts. So, and I'll also start with the introduction just to give you an idea of what to expect. As I read paragraphs, I'm going to stop, go back, annotate, so you guys can see uh, what I'm thinking at the time, and also the key kind of concepts and ideas that I pull out from each paragraph. So in 2011, global inflationary pressures had increased, largely due to increases in commodity prices and the threat of global resource scarcity. In the UK, these external inflationary pressures occurred at a time of concern about the weakness of domestic demand following a significant fall in gross domestic product in the last quarter of 2010. This raised a dilemma for the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee. In order to ensure that inflationary expectations did not take hold in the labor market, some members of the NPC recommended that interest rates should rise. Others viewed the inflationary pressures as outside the control of the Bank of England and believed that inflation would return to its target rate in the medium term. All right, before I even move on to the uh, next oops, don't want that to the next paragraph, I'm going to review this one and just make some notes here. So let's take a look at this first sentence. In 2011, global inflationary pressures had increased, largely due to increases in commodity prices and the threat of global uh, resource scarcity. So what do we need to address? Okay, so I'm going to write this here. And also this word file will be on uh, our, our uh, VLE topics for, let's just say, I'll just create a list of different things that we need to do, and you'll see them in this column. Uh, in this column. So global inflationary pressures, I think generally we understand those. Um, increasing commodity prices, so this might be worth your while to re uh, refresh. Um, perhaps we take a look at the commodity price index and, ch and, and uh, follow changes as they've occurred. And then the final issue is global resource scarcity. All right, why is this happening? Why are we running out of resources? Or what is this? Not running out of resources, but why uh, is there such an issue with their scarcity? All right, in the UK, so we're talking domestically about the UK, uh, these external inflationary pressures occurred at a time of concern about weaknesses of domestic demand. So UK weak domestic demand following a significant fall in GDP in the last quarter of 2010. So fall in GDP in the last quarter of 2010. What this tells me is that we just really need to track GDP over the past year or so. All right, and we know that we had a, we're in, we've entered a double dip recession, so this is probably something that we could talk about and definitely bring into any arguments we bring up. All right, this raised a dilemma for the Monetary Policy Committee. Okay, Monetary Policy Committee. There's a lot actually in this one, uh, but I'm not going to really address it in detail. But I'm going to give you the overview. The first things we need to first thing we need to understand is, you know, what do they do? Second, we need to address who are they? Uh, what is the Hawks first doves argument? Uh, this I'll explain in more detail when we go uh, look at extract one. Uh, in order to ensure that inflationary expectations did not take hold in the labor market, some of the mem some members of the NPC recommended that inter interest rates should rise. All right, so let's take a look. What are inflationary expectations? Uh, why would they impact the labor market? And finally, who would suggest increasing interest rates? And what is uh, and what is their argument? Sorry, we can't just make a claim like this without supporting it. Others viewed the inflationary pressures as outside the control of the Bank of England and believed that inflation would return to its target rate in the medium term. Okay, who holds this view? All right, this is probably going to be the doves. Why is it outside the control? of the Bank of England. I'm going to just write B of E. And what is meant by the medium term? All right, we need to distinguish between long, medium, short. Okay. That's the first paragraph covered. Let's move on to the next. Uh, the UK economy was not the only economy struggling to cope with rising inflation. Okay. So here we go. Key issue of inflation, um, inflation impacting another economy. In China, for example, 
I'm reading. Uh, the authorities had indicated that economic growth needed to be curtailed in order to reduce its social and environmental consequences. Okay. Why does economic growth need to be curtailed? What are the current social and environmental consequences that we're trying to manage? That we are trying to manage or reduce, rather. Okay. Uh, which were threatening the country's sustainable economic development. Should have added this bit in there as well. Let's add a new comment. Uh, why is China's sustainable economic development in question? Indeed, some economists believe that higher inflation might bring more benefits than costs, not least in China itself. Okay, this is a really good one. I get, I, I'm pretty. I feel pretty strongly in saying that there's going to be. Uh, there's some. Some question will address this topic, right? Asking why China might benefit from inflation. Uh, potentially, there's going to be cost and benefit to China. Why? What are the cost benefits to China of inflation? Uh, what are the costs of inflation to the UK? Right. I want you to. I want you to be able to consider the case for and against inflation in China in terms of cost and benefits. Uh, but you should also understand the cost of inflation to the UK. The resource scarcity, which has contributed to global inflationary pressure, brought about policy responses. Okay, so global responses to scarcity. The EU uh, looked to the correction of market failure through the creation of incentives to bring about resource efficiency. Oh, this looks like a lot of fun. Uh, the EU correction of market failures. Uh, let's see to enhance resource efficiency. This definitely looks like something we could talk about further. And also to bring your attention to another fact, let me just uh, pause and say this. I've noticed in the past few exams, the final chat, the final paragraph of the uh, introduction has generally been where the final 20 mark essay question has been taken from. So if you do take a look at uh, this introduction, do pay close attention here. And, and you know, if you wanna go take a look for yourself, go for it. You'll find that in the past papers, all the pre-release stimulus material have in that last paragraph of the introduction, which generally links to extract four, come up as the essay question. Uh, I'm, I'm going to continue. China had introduced, introduced quotas on the export of so-called rare earths that had given a clear indication, uh, let's see, that exports of certain key raw materials would be banned from 2015. Okay, what is, let's go with the basics. What is a quota? And that's how I pronounce the word, so deal with it. Um, why are they limiting exports of rare earths and what are rare earths you know i'd suggest you take a look i think it'll come up in the extract anyway uh and why the complete ban from 2015. okay the world trade organization had already been called upon in 2009 to educate a dispute about china's exports on export quotas and raw materials China's announcement of a potential ban on the export of certain key raw materials from 2015 threatened to reopen a trade dispute between China and both the EU and the USA. All right, let's talk about who is the WTO and what is their role in managing world trade. What is the key issue regarding this export ban? Why is anyone even making a case, specifically the EU and USA? Um, what are the implications of China's actions? All right, I'm going to stop there. Just now that you've seen all these little comments, I'm going to save this document. And those of, uh, those of you who study with me, uh, it'll be up on Moodle. Uh, those of you who don't, uh, unfortunately, don't have a place to store this. But if you want to send me a message, I, I'm pretty sure I could find a way to get it to you. Um, I'll save this document locally, but again, this is just taking a look at the introduction for the F585 June 2012 exam.